Uh, there's a comment on our last explanation about the um, the designs not fitting because we had an ornament, for example, instead of a, of a mug. It's actually the same concept. The thing with the ornaments is that ornaments have a lot of bleed and wrap around, uh, and, sorry, and wrapping extensions that we don't contemplate because the um, the POD will need a specific print size, but you will have a lot of extra space that you don't need. For example, let's create an ornament. Like this. And let's pick, uh, let's go next and pick a custom design. That could be any of this. Yeah, let's go for this. Uh, in fact, let's go for this because it's going to be a very interesting example. Let's give it a second. This is pretty much done. Saving product. Probably what the uh, what we are being mentioned is that when you do this creation, this ornament with this custom design, it goes outside of the edges like this and probably not perfectly centered. The reason for this, and I do have the print guide for this product, so you will see what the problem is. I'm going to save draft again so I can access the template in here. I'm going to click here to open the template. Let's go and edit. And the same thing I did with the mug, I can actually do with this. Basically, our design will try and fit the entire print size of the ornament which is 80 almost 84 by 84 right so we have the red we have the ribbon we have everything in the, in the title the problem is that it's not it's still outside of the boundaries and the reason for that if we add a dynamic image and we upload the ornament is that you will see that the original file the original specification from the from the pod states that the View the view all part is the white one with a margin and a safe area, and the rest is a uh, bleed for wrapping purposes. But to ensure that you don't want uh, um, you want a background fully completing this, or you want uh, um, any any graphics to go to the to the edges without any any cutout on the on the border. If, if we have a circle design and we make it sure it cuts to the border, most likely it will show that cutting. So you bleed out this. And if you bleed out to make sure no borders will be shown, you create this 83.9 by 83.9 square. So if I start to push this down, let's start moving this down. You will start to see how the design was actually uh, uh, way outside of the boundaries of the product, but not because it was a mistake or it was too big, is because the print size needed is way bigger than the safe area. So you need to adjust the safe area. And we cannot um, preview this right from the beginning. And the reason for this is, okay, let's go like that, okay? So that's for this. Now, it doesn't seem like a big of a deal right um but we can always grab this and try to see if we can fit this okay so if we don't want this printing or we want this printing outside we may want to extend this but if we extend this and the breath we can hide the breath the rest seems to be very close to the uh safe areas so maybe i can grab the ribbon and grab the pets and the title but keep the red background in there Okay, I'm probably going to need to center this, but what I can do is I can reduce this in a way that I will be on the safe area, like that. Also, I can check the pets. So I can check the, for example, the dog breeds number two, 
and the cat breed as well and the third dog the third cat I, I can see if all possible designs will fit in the worst case scenario so they are fitting right the title is fitting everything seems to be there two pets will be the same one pet will be the same the title is here so we only need to open the breath again Bread is not perfectly centered, so let's center this a bit. If we see this extending, of course, we can always make it bigger. Why? Because this will not print or we will be cut off in the bleed. You have to worry about that. I don't know if, if the Hello Christmas should be on top of the bread. I think it does. But once we have this working exactly for our guide here, yeah, we can hide it and print like this. It doesn't matter because in the end, part of this will be cut off. In the preview, you will see that you will need to do those same adjustments as well. For example, if we open the guide and we see this, the guide should be smaller to make sure we fit exactly with the bleed and everything as it has been stated by the POD. So this is the way you should see the guide, like that. I placed the guide exactly as it will print, and the bleed is what wraps uh, on, the, uh, on the back of the ornament, usually. So this is what you need showing. And so what we do is we grab the ribbon and we grab the and the title. Uh, if you recall, we made this smaller and centered, just like that. And the um, the red, of course, is uh, we need to put it on top of the guide, like that. Now the red is pretty big, so if you recall, this was slightly like this and had to be centered this way. I think it was even smaller, like that. Yeah, it was kind of a small bleed in there so basically and then we hide the guide so this is exactly what is going to print how it's going to look and the reason why you saw this too big is because it was contemplating the bleeds that this specific product in particular has uh, as a basic set okay so those things if you have the specifications from the pod you can always fix them in family and that's the great thing about the app.